Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Today's video is going to be an update on my Dirty Looks hair extensions. I have them in right now. These are the 16 to 18 inch Manhattan Highlighted Blonde. I got these back in October, so it's been, what is it, four or five months now that I've had them. They've held up so extremely well for me. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what their condition is now and um, how, well basically just what their condition is now if you're, and what to expect I guess from them. So right now I only have three of the ten wefts that comes in that set in my hair. I have the number one piece which goes at the very nape of your neck. I have the two piece which goes an inch or two above that and then the quad weft which is the really big one. It has the four layers of hair on it and I have that one just going straight across the, um, what would this be, the diameter of your head? The largest part of your head back here. And that's all. Now my hair I would say is definitely um, like thin to medium thickness and that's, so that's all I need. Maybe if you had uh, thicker hair you would, might have to include um, two more but I would say at the most at one time I think that's all you'll need because honestly I can't even imagine having the t all of the ten wefts because I just think it would be too much hair and it would weigh my head down. The condition is still really good. You can tell that they maybe aren't as silky smooth as the other ones. They're more of a coarse feeling now but that doesn't actually show to other people. It's just whenever you're feeling them you can tell that. So yes, their quality is extremely extremely awesome. They've held up so well. The other ones, I actually have two sitting right next to me right now that are the ones that I maybe sometimes will put right here on the side of my head if I want a little more thickness. The other ones, three of them, I haven't even touched. They're still actually in the package. And then two of the really little tiny ones, I must have just taken out, I don't know, I must have been messing around with them. So those are out. But they're, you know, still in perfect condition. I actually would recommend now having gone through this that I probably wouldn't get the head candy set just because I don't need that much hair. I probably could have saved myself a couple dollars um, in the long run. And now I actually want to go back and get longer ones. So now that I know that, um, I probably wouldn't have gotten the set that I did. But I'm happy that I did because now I have extra ones in case, well, I know eventually these are going to get, you know, worn out. So once these do, you know, after a year or so, I'll probably just swap these out because they are the exact same thing. And so all is well and I would have just, you know, ended up spending that money anyway. So... I still would definitely recommend these to everyone. Like I said, I'm thinking about repurchasing some more for myself, just in a longer length. If you didn't watch my last video, uh, these do run more on the shorter side. So I got the 16 to 18 inches. Whenever I measured them, they were the 16 inches. So if you are looking for something longer, I would definitely go up because that's it's going to be the lower end of the spectrum. So if it's 20 to 22, it's going to be 20. 16 to 18, it's going to be 16. So just a word of advice. But these are the 16 to 18 inch. So you can just see for a second how long they are. So they go right about, that's the longest. That's the one that's sitting at the nape of my neck. And that's about how long they are. So if you had them straightened, they would go past your boobs. But, um, so they fit very well with my hair. They match very nicely and I still do love them. Ooh, almost fell off my chair. So now I'm going to show you how to put extensions in, especially if you have the shorter hairs that sometimes tend to stick out about right here and make it so that you can really tell that you're wearing extensions. So as you can see, this piece is clearly shorter than this piece. So what we can do is I'm going to take my extensions out and I'm going to show you how people with shorter hair can blend those pieces together so that you have a seamless finish and it doesn't even look like you're wearing extensions. So let me just take these out. So if you have probably about my length or shorter, 
You're probably going to want to do this, especially if you're putting extensions not just to make your hair fuller, but to make it primarily longer. So what you're going to do is, you're, going, you're going to want to section off this bottom nape of your neck. So we're going to section that off. Let me spin around. Just about this much. Whoa, too far. We're just going to section off just about that much, and I'm going to put the rest of it up into a little clip. Okay, so and I'm just going to spin back around. So now I have this little bit of hair. You can either take it and twist it which is probably going to be what you guys want to do because it's a lot easier. The other thing that you can do is also braid it. I would suggest doing the braid if you're going to an event or maybe going out somewhere nicer that you really need that, that hair to stick into something and stay in place. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to twist this and we're going to twist it to a side. If you were braiding, you would also want to be braiding to a side. So not down, not just straight down the back of your neck, but over to the side a little bit. So we're just going to twist this and we're going to take it, get some bobby pins. So you're going to take your hair. Let me spin around so I can show you what I'm doing. Take it go across this way, put your bobby pin in, then take the remaining hair, depending on how long your hair is, you might have to do this more times or less times than I, so take it, go back across there, take another bobby pin, And go ooh, and go that way with it and then I need to go back one more time it looks or it feels like and put another one in there so you just want to make sure that your hair is secure and that it's going to stay in that position which the bobby pin should do so now you're going to take your first extension. So with, if you get the head candy ones, these ones actually tell you which order they go in. So this one has a number one on it and you can see it has just two clips. So we're going to unclip those. We're going to take it and put it right on top of that little gnat, that little nest that we just created. So put that on there, make sure your bobby pins are tight and secure, and you have your first one in. Oh, this one's not so secure. Okay, so if you can't tell what we're doing, that already takes away. So usually those pieces would have hung down to right about here, so you could clearly tell the difference between these and that, but right now you obviously can't. So now I'm going to put my hair down. And I'm going to section up to the next one. Now I'm going to take the number two. Whoa. Unclip those. And now I'm going to clip that one in. So if you can see, whenever I'm putting those in, I'm trying to twirl them around a little bit to give them something to grab on. If your hair is, especially if you just washed it and it's a little silky, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot harder for the clips to stay in. So you just want to make it a little dirty and a little messy right underneath where you're clipping them in. That'll give it a more secure base so that they stay in nice and tight. So this is the next layer. 
And then like I said, I only use three of the ten that they give you. So this will be my last layer, which I section off around the widest part of my head. Clip that up top. Then taking my number three with my head candy set, I'm going to unclip those, spin around so you guys can see, and then I'm going to twirl those around and clip those right in. So now, when, once I have them in, what I first do, I bring them around to the front, and I feel that even, I feel around to make sure that even whenever they're in the front, and this hair has been shifted this way, that you can't see any of these clips that are sitting back here. They're all covered and nothing's sticking out. So that is the super easy way that you can hide those short pieces. You can't even tell everything is nice, seamlessly blended. You don't want to be that girl who has her hair up to here and then her extensions hanging down. It just doesn't look right. I know you may not be that particular about it, but it's important that you spend all this money. You want to wear your extensions in the proper way. You don't want to have that large distance between the two lengths. Um, so this will just make sure that you're nicely blended. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I've been meaning to do this for so long and just got caught up with work so I never ended up being able to do it and so this weekend I had nothing going on so I knew I just wanted to sit down and get this out for you guys. So I hope you found it helpful. I hope that it answered any questions that you may have had. Um, if you do have any more questions please leave them in the comments below. I will definitely 100% get back to you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.